following program is from NET, the Public Television Network. What's up, Waddle Entertainment presents Quentin's Animation Extravaganza, Episode 79, Celebration. Animation Land. As you can see, Shotaro has just sent my script for Chapter 16 of Humans the Sentai Go Ranger back to me, along with his illustrations. Well, now that I finally earned all eight transformation badges, the Gotogujis are going to hold the ritual at the Bijou Theater tomorrow night. I can hardly wait to find out what my new form will look like. Come in! Wakan-chan! Oh, hey, Miyako! Oh, Momokon Kaoru here, too! Congrats on earning all the badges! We're having dinner with the main six of Mario Brothers Pizza and Pasta tonight to celebrate! Wanna come? Count me in! the past the time. Oh, guess we'll see what's on TV. Now it's time for Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, here on ABC. Oh, that's right, Christmas is almost here. Guess I better start decorating my apartment while I watch. Wow, that was such a classic special. They even included the scene that was cut after the original airing. Now I guess I could take a walk around Saffron City. Gotta get some exercise going. Hey, Quizzen, how you doing? Oh, doing just fine, Gordon. Oh, Susan, Bob, and Mr. Hooper are here, too. Congratulations for obtaining all eight badges! We're really excited about seeing that ritual tomorrow night. We're very curious about what your new form will be. Well, so am I. Anyway, I'll see you guys around. Ah, the snack shop gone. A big staple of my life here in Animation Land. Hey there, Quentin. Hey, guys. Taking a break, I see. Irugawa let us take a few hours off. Anyway, we can't wait to see the ritual tomorrow night. You sure made Eagle proud. It wouldn't be the same without you and the Kodakujis helping us fight the Black Cross Army! The main six were very helpful, too. With all this help, we actually took down three of the Black Cross Army's big four. We'll have to keep up the good work if we're to take down Commander-in-Chief Golden Mask. After him, we'll end with the Black Cross Bureau himself. Anyway, I'll see you guys around. I actually have half an hour to spare before I have to meet the Kodakujis in main six. I guess I'll just relax and turn on the radio! Shall I go with Am or Foom? We're proud to have a special holiday treat for you today. Here's classic horror actor Boris Karloff reading Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Wow, that's something you don't witness every day. Fun fact, Dr. Seuss, or should I say Theodore Seuss Geisel, wrote the book in order to criticize the commercialization of Christmas, and I don't blame him. Christmas gets too much attention in the market. I guess Seuss just decided to write the book to teach kids that there's much more to Christmas than just the gifts. Okay, I think it's about time I meet with the Golden Goodies in Main 6. Alright, it's party time! P-A-R-T. Why? Because I gotta! Winter Chan! You made it! Awesome! Alright, let's grab some grub! Welcome to Mario Brothers Pizza and Pasta. How many? Ten. Your name, please? Quentin. Okie dokie. Follow me now. Hello, I'm Luigi. What can I do for you tonight? We'll have two family-sized pizzas, one pepperoni pineapple, and one mighty meaty. Okie dokie, coming right up. Hey, thanks for stopping by. It was nice to just relax for a change. Anyway, stop by for the ritual tomorrow night, okay? Alright, see you later. This episode was an original story created entirely for this show. 
Written by Quentin Cole. Copyright 2018. This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. This is NET, the public television network. <laughs>